What's up YouTube? It's me Jess and I'm an opera singer. Today's video is Patreon Pick of the Month and for this month they have chosen Shoshana Bean singing a Broadway bucket list. Let's go. I'm Shoshana Bean. I'm currently starring as Jenna in Waitress and this is my Broadway bucket list. Jason Robert Brown being one of my all-time favorite composers, and this score, in my opinion, being one of his most glorious, uh, and this song in particular, uh, Francesca is a beautiful role with a ton of depth and, and complexity and vulnerability, and uh, this song sort of summing up the, uh, the concept of, of always choosing love, no matter what the situation or the challenge or the heartbreak, um, and that choice always being the better one. Could have driven into someone else's driveway. You could have tried to find the bridge another day. I could have gone off to the fair, or locked the door, or washed my hair, and in a way that would be better. We could have chosen to ignore. <gasps> What we were feeling We could have prayed to make the wanting go away But what we did Is that we loved And love so good. is always better Ah. And left behind the cornfields I could have seen a world like none I'd ever known I could have tied my dreams to yours And slept beside you on the moors And who can say that might be better I could have not been where my children turned Oh. And never seen what they've become now that they're grown. Yes. But what I did is that I loved, and love is always better. Ooh. It is hard, it is insane to place one. What a choice, and what a gift, and what a blessing. Yeah. I could have never known a love like this existed. Woo. But then you kissed me, and you left, and then I knew. Is always better. Oh. Into the Ooh, so much to say. Oh my goodness. Okay, first, I've got the words because um I don't know this piece. So I want to point out some key techniques that she is doing that that helps drive the emotional line and essentially makes this performance one of a kind a Shoshana Bean performance what I noticed is within the melodic lines with the phrases with larger leaps a lot of the words if not all of the words had an M or an N consonant in them 
So uh, the words are, for example, you could have driven into was one of them. You could have tried to find the bridge another day. Then she goes on and sings, um, you could have chosen to ignore. And then right after that, we could have prayed to make the wanting go away. During these words with N's and M's, there was a beautiful, nice leap in the melodic line. Shoshana Bean is taking advantage of these voiced consonances uh, by singing really through those M's and those N's and singing through them on that upper note. You could have driven into someone else's driveway. You could have tried to find the bridge another day. We could have chosen to ignore what we were feeling. We could have prayed to make the wanting go away. By leaning into those consonants, it gives a different emphasis on those words. I've also got to say great composition technique for the consistency throughout those leaps with trading off between M's and N's and taking advantage of those voiced consonances, especially for the singer. Secondly, I wanna say that her facials always complement the words that she is saying. And this is such an invaluable skill set to have because it takes a certain level of professionalism and practice to be able to get to this point, a point where the center of your focus is the words that you're saying, the character that you are in in order to make the story believable and to the point where the center of your focus is not your vocal technique. I mean, let's look at the consistency. We could have chosen to ignore what we were feeling. Mm. We could have prayed to make the wanting go away. Yes. But what we did is that we lost Is always better. I could have gone with you and left behind the cornfields. Girl, if you don't stop, the consistency is just dead spot on. It's so crystal clear the path that she is going within her mind. You see it every millisecond that she is on stage. She doesn't drop out of character, not once. That is freaking phenomenal. So I definitely want to talk about the part where she was singing one line and then went straight into another line. And instead of singing the melodic line, she just talked through majority of the phrase and added the melodic line like towards the end of the phrase. Freaking genius. Let's listen to that and what a gift yeah. and what a blessing i could have never known a love like this existed ah <laughs> okay okay so um so i love how what what a what a blessing beautiful song throughout legato line and she uh, sang that higher note on blessing, the ing of blessing, with straight tone and then added her gorgeous vibrato. And what a blessing! Then, instead of taking a breath before the next phrase, she kept that phrase going all the way into the next line, which is, I could have never known breath. A love like this existed. The I could have never known was talked. There was no melodic line in really any of that. And what a blessing! I could have never known a love like this existed. And I love how she went from singing straight into that speech-like pattern. Then she took a breath after the word known uh, and no, yes, after the word known and before the word uh. And when she took this breath, if I can be honest, I thought she was going to go into the melodic line right after the breath, but no, she didn't. She continued that speech-like pattern and it was actually kind of hard to hear 
when she added pitches to the melodic line. I think it was on the exi the second and last syllable of existed. Existed. And what a Existed. Loved the dedication. And then, okay, the acting. I just, I, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna talk about acting in this video all throughout, but the moment the what a blessing phrase was ending and going into the next line of I could have never known. The head shake with her hands moving up towards her head to emphasize I could have never known. She's just, she's just so good. It was just, it's just those cherries on tops that really make this performance Shoshana Beans. Okay, let's keep going. Into the Woods has always held a very ah! special place in my heart. I was cast as Little Red uh, when I was in junior high, uh, going into high school, and I chose to be on the drill team in my high school instead of doing Little Red. And ah. I think somewhere deep in my heart, I knew I'm gonna go on and do this and have many more opportunities. Never have gotten to do Into the Woods. No uh, way. But this, this score has always been like my Bible. When I was young, I had the lyrics plastered all over my walls. Mm. It seems that whatever your question, the answer lies somewhere in the lyrics of Into the Woods. Hmm. What was that? <laughs> Was that me? Was Stop. that him? Did a prince really oh. kiss me? And kiss oh. me? And kiss me? Yes. And did I kiss him back? Oh. Was it wrong? Am I mad? Is that all? Does he miss me? Was he suddenly getting bored with me? Wake up! Stop screaming! Stop, Stop prancing about the woods! It's mm. not deceiving! What is it about the woods? Oh, back to life! Back to sense! Back to child! Back to husband! You can't live in the woods! Mm. There are vows! There are ties! There are needs! There are standards! There are shouldn'ts and shoulds! Why not both instead? There's the answer if you're clever! Have a child for birth, and a baker for bread, and a prince for whatever. Never, it's these woods. So good. <laughs> Face the facts, find the boy, join the group, stop the giant, just get out of these woods. Was that him? Was, uh. it was? was that me? No, it wasn't just a trick of the woods. Just a moment, one peculiar passing moment. Must it all be either less or more, either plain or grand? Yes. Is it always or is it never and? Mm -hmm. That's what woods are for, for those moments in the woods. Oh, if life were made of moments, mm. even now and then a bad one. But if life were made of moments, then you'd never know you had one. First a witch, then a child, then a prince, then a moment who can live in the woods. So good. And to get what you wish, only just for a moment, these are dangerous woods. Let the moment go. Don't forget it for a moment, though. Just remembering you've had an end when you're back to or makes the or mean more than oh. it did before. Now I understand, and it's time to leave the woods. This Ooh, show and this score. Pause, the pause, 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 pause. I'm so excited about this. Um, I got to play the stepmother in Into the Woods, and this is just such a great, great show. Um, first off, the baker's wife has so many freaking lines in this uh, arrangement. It's wild. And the lines are so wordy. I mean, listen, listen to this. It's just very, very wordy. She's really good at having an emotional response before she starts singing. That is so key in connecting each phrase and each uh, sentence in order to make the story. What she does in her pauses when she's not singing 
is wildly good and I love to pay attention to these moments. Let's take a look. Actually, she started this right from the very, very beginning. Before any words came out of her mouth, there was a small piano intro. And paying attention to this moment is a great example of what I'm talking about. What was that? You guys, oh my god, it is remarkable. You saw already maybe what she was thinking, or you clearly saw she is disoriented. Something is clearly going on and she gives you this information before telling you anything. Genius. Then after she says, what was that? Uh, lyrics please. I didn't play the baker's wife. Then after this, she sings, was that me? And you saw, did you see, did you see the uncertainty in her face before she said this line? What was that? Was that me? It even seemed like she was choking up on saying the very first word was. That's how like in disbelief she was. And then when she went to go and sing, and did I kiss him back? I loved this part because before these lyrics, there was a, a little piano part and the piano played like this dissonant chord. And she had like this, this jerking reflex kind of uh, reaction to this very dissonant chord. You saw it all over her body and you saw it in her face. Was that me? Was that him? Did a prince really kiss me? And kiss me? And kiss me? And did I kiss him back? I thought that just played so well into the line before and then the lines that she's going to say after. She's just clearly making a connection from one phrase to another to give you an entire story. Genius. I did want to say I noticed the different mouth and lip positions that she has for the word woods. I noticed sometimes she would form her lips in a very square-like shape on the word woods when it sat on a higher note. And to get what you wish only just for a moment, these are dangerous woods. Now I understand, and it's time to leave the woods. And then other times, she had her mouth so relaxed and her lips were more close together and it was almost as if she wasn't even saying a word at all. That's just how relaxed it was. Back to life, back to sense, back to child, back to husband. You can't live in the woods. Face the facts, find the boy, join the group, stop the giant, just get out of these woods. But the key point was either one she chose to do, the vowel and the word was clear. I never once thought, oh, what is she saying? Or had to question or figure out what she was saying. I'm to leave the woods. This show and this score and this woman um, have, have been with me since I was very, very oh, young. funny and, girl. And probably, you know, for, for many lifetimes. She is so familiar. She is so deeply ingrained in my DNA. Um, it's my all-time favorite musical and my all-time favorite role. So good. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and water. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly, I simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? I'll march my band out. Yes. Sir, I guess I didn't make it, but whether I'm the rose of sheer perfection, nice. a freckle on the nose of life's complexion, mm -hmm. the cinder or the shiny apple of its eye, I gotta try once, I gotta fly once, yes. only can die once, right sir, mm -hmm. Ooh, love is juicy, juicy, and you see I gotta have my bite, sir, yes. get ready for me love, cause 
I'm a cum. I simply gotta march, my heart's a drum. Yes. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. like what an ending um i'm just gonna say i loved the um tempo change in the repeated section on the words on the words on the words i'll march my band out i will beat my drum and if i'm fanned out your turn at bat sir at least i didn't fake it hat sir i guess i didn't make it i love the tempo change on uh these two uh sections the first time it was a quicker tempo i think cut time don't quote me on that let me know down below and then the second time was much more slowed down very classic way to end a piece I'll march my band out. slow things down, bring things to a close, and really show off the voice. So fantastic. She's a beast, and she's someone that I will consistently look forward to listening to so that I can learn from her. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Please let me know down below what other pieces should be included in the musical theater section of my performance analysis videos. Lastly, make sure you check out my description box for ways you can keep in touch with me, get access to exclusive perks, and or take a voice lesson with me. I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye!